We just officially launched a new feature called seam tracking, and this uses the TrueArc seam tracking technology to account for deviations. So here's a good example of a part which has seam tracking enabled. We've used seam tracking to change the robot's motion to account for changes in the actual weld seam. The part is contoured so that you see a bend in the middle as compared to the two ends. But this part was taught with just two weld points, point A at one end and point B at one end to be a straight linear line. So on a dry run, the robot executes a straight linear line without accounting for the deviation in the weld seam. Through our seam tracking, we actually track the deviation in the weld seam and change the robot motion to account for this deviation. To enable seam tracking, I select the point I want it to be enabled on, and it's as simple as turning on a toggle, on and off, and then you have seam tracking.